Hello, friends. So we are back and we're reading from Sideways Stories from Wayside School. Now, remember, this book is fiction. It is also called Magical Realism because some of these things feel like they could be real, but it's magical, right? Things that could not really happen in real life. So today we're reading chapter 13 titled Rondi. Let's go ahead and jump in. Rondi had 22 beautiful teeth. Everyone else had 24. Rondi was missing her two front teeth, and those were the most beautiful teeth of all. Your front teeth are so cute, said Mrs. Jules. They make you look just adorable. But Mrs. Jules, said Rondi, I don't have any front teeth. I know, said Mrs. Jules. That's what makes them so cute. Rondi didn't understand. Oh, Rondi, I just love your two front teeth, said Mauricia. I wish I had some like that. But I don't have them, said Rondi. That's why I love them so much, said Mauricia. Oh, this is silly, said Rondi. Everybody thinks the teeth I don't have are cute. I'm not wearing a coat. Do you all just love my coat? And what about my third arm? I don't have one. Isn't it lovely? Love your hat, Rondi, said Joy. I'm not wearing a hat, Rondi screamed. That's what makes it so interesting, said Joy. Don't you think so, Leslie? Oh, yes, said Leslie. It's a very nice hat. Nice boots, too. I'm not wearing boots, Rondi insisted. Yes, said Joy. Very nice boots. They go so well with your hat. What hat? asked Rondi. Yes, Leslie agreed. Rondi showed excellent taste by not wearing the hat or the boots. They go so well together. Rondi had had enough. She covered her head so nobody could see her hat. She put her feet under her desk so nobody could see her boots. Then she closed her mouth tightly so nobody could see her two front teeth. Suddenly, everybody who was sitting near her began to laugh. What's so funny? asked Todd. The joke Rondi didn't tell, said Jason. Ask Rondi not to tell it again, Todd, said Calvin. Rondi, said Todd, don't tell it again. Rondi was horrified. She didn't know what to do. She kept her mouth shut and just stared at Todd. To her amazement, Todd laughed. Hey, everybody, called Todd. Listen to Rondi's joke. Rondi didn't say a word, but the rest of the class began to laugh. Rondi, or I'm sorry, Mrs. Jules got very angry. She wrote Rondi's name on the blackboard under the word discipline. The classroom is not the place for jokes, she said. But Mrs. Jules said, Rondi, I didn't tell a joke. Yes, I know, said Mrs. Jules, but the funniest jokes are the ones that remain untold. Okay, okay, said Rondi. If that's what you want, then that's what you'll get. I'll really tell a joke. That way I won't disturb the class. And tomorrow I'll wear boots and a hat. Of course you won't like them as much as the ones I didn't wear today. But I better hurry up and tell my joke before you all start to laugh. There was a monkey sitting in a banana tree. He was very hungry. He knew that somewhere in the tree there was a magic banana and that once he ate the banana, he wouldn't be hungry anymore. He ate one banana. Finally, he ate his 10th banana. He wasn't hungry anymore. That one wasn't it either. He was still hungry. Finally, after he ate his 10th banana, he wasn't hungry anymore. I knew I'd find it, he said. It's too bad I didn't eat that one first. I wouldn't have had to waste all those other bananas. Nobody laughed. Nobody even listened to Rondi. Mrs. Jules was busy teaching arithmetic and everybody else was paying strict attention. Rondi slapped herself in the face to make sure she was really there. She was. The bell rang for recess. Rondi ran out. She was very upset. Louie, the yard teacher, saw her. Why the frown, Rondi? he asked. Come on, smile. Let me see your cute front teeth. 
Rondi screamed. She socked Louie in the stomach, then bit his arm with her missing teeth. And that kind of bite hurts the most. Okay, that is it for our read aloud of Sideways Stories. What do you guys think? I'm going to ask you a couple questions here. First question, what are the two things that the students like about Rondi? Second question, why does Rondi get frustrated with all the compliments she's receiving? And the last question, why does Mrs. Jules put Rondi's name under the word discipline? All right, so you can answer those questions with a friend, with a sibling, or with a parent at home. I really hope you enjoy these read-alouds. I know I do. Signing off.